Hi everyone, welcome to In His Love. My name is Pegita. How is everyone doing? Thank you for stopping by. Thank you uh, all my returning viewers. And thank you for, uh, if this is your first time here, thank you so much. You're welcome to the family of In His Love. Yeah, so today I want to analyze uh, this video that I saw on uh, Pastor Jerry Az. Uh, he's the guy that brought the slogan that says what God cannot do does not exist. It seemed like he just popped up on the internet from nowhere. You know, even though, even though people say, oh, the person just popped out from nowhere. Uh, but we all know that the person has been doing something for a long time, but probably just got recognized more, you know. And um, he does this prayers, uh, loud, fire prayers, extremely loud prayers and online and people are just typing and, and logging in and he caught the attention of so many people. You know, some of my my friends or even just acquaintances, acquaintances, <laughs> grandma, even just, uh, you know, people that I just know and then um, they will send me uh, his videos, they will send me his live stuff and, you know, for me to join and everything. And I watched him, you know, just to see, you know, what's going on. And the way he's praying and screaming and shouting and doing doing the prayers with so much vigor and everything. And I'm like, what kind of, what kind of prayer is this? Is it, is it a... Is it war zone or what? You know, like, you know, is it a <laughs> is it by force? Are you shouting on God? Like, like, calm down. God can hear you if you pray small, small. You don't have to do all this. God can still hear you. Calm down. Calm down. You know, anyway. So he does that online. So um, then I saw this video. I'm like, this guy. I don't know. I don't know about him. This is the, the video that I saw. Um, I saw recently online and he was being asked questions and everything. We have pastors here. Yes. Uh, what can you say to a congregation to encourage their pastor, to support their pastor? Let me even say it like this. Some people are not nice. <laughs> Do you understand? Some people are not nice. They are just, le look at it. Um, and I want to say, because, because me, I'm a pastor. Yeah. Do you understand? Sometimes, not because you want it, not because you desire it, not because you... Like, you traveled, right? You traveled, and I'm going to say it the way it's doing mm. me in my heart. You traveled, like people flying, flying from everywhere, and you're fleeing from the U.S., right? You're fleeing from Canada, you're fleeing from everywhere. You came to see pastor. Mm. Do you understand? You came to see pastor, sure and all you came... Is with medical reports in that place. Medical, huh? Medical report of what you are supposed to pray about, and all that you bring, and then you are crying. I'm asking in that place. <laughs> they don't they, they don't say bread. <laughs> don't they bread? Don't they say bread? Didn't you find? Didn't you find bread on the road to buy as you are coming to meet? You remember, Pastor Levin Emmanuel was saying this yesterday. Uh huh. So, why, why do you think I, people? Why do you think we behave like that as Christians? I don't. I, we are selfish. It mm. is selfishness. They don't, as they are looking at you, you know how it is that they don't know. <laughs> Maybe they are so influenced by social media that you imagine that every offering you give to church automatically pastor. goes into the pastor's pocket. <laughs> is a pastor who is not planning a future for you that will do no, that. that but happen. if they know that this ministry is transgenerational, if you want, they can open their books and, and show you everything. that what you are giving, you are not giving to okay. them you are giving to the ministry so sometimes they sit back and say pastor is great pastor is doing all right so, so, there's, a, so there's an assumption that pastor is always okay Emotional. ask them now they are here then they are looking at us now. yes so they when you uh when someone brings um their prayer points to to a pastor right they they travel far away and everything they bring their prayer points to, to the to a pastor to the pastor you know that didn't they see bread along the way that they were coming why why couldn't they buy something or bring a little something in other words he's saying you know bring so my question here is that are you doing this for what you will gain 
are you are you doing this because you, you know they, they they claim that they were called by God to pastor to do this ministry thing so are you doing it for because of the gain or are you doing it because you were called by God trusting in God to take care of you and then say oh that simple thing all the offerings that um, that that they give in church goes to the pastor's pocket before uncle where do they go can you give account of what you what they do the church do with the money the, or the ministry do with the money can you can you give can you give a written account can you hand it if a member asks for a written uh, record are you able to show it is there a place that members can go and read the accounts of the, of the church how it's going because after all they are the ones contributing this money is there a place in in the board in the in the church where they can you know in the church somewhere on the board where they can just go and read it freely and easily of course not you know half the time we don't we don't know what this money are used for we just give give and give so they they, they always are you hearing yeah. Yeah. yes they're always pastor is doing okay i mean pastor was he is he not the one that just came back from summer you know the other time and all of, and then they just go on and on but they don't have an idea I'm that even if it is for the for the purpose of saying we see you sir we see what you're doing we see how god is in, and all of that it doesn't have to be all over let me tell you you see we don't say this all the time but doing this can be very lonely Oh yes. Doing this can be very lonely. We are, you're carrying the burdens of everyone, and it's even what you know. You are doing this year. Pastor Bimbo is doing this year. If they, uh, and all, this person is working here. This person is working. And by the time they come, they have families. We have families. Yes. You know. And the truth is that we've taken you people as, as priority. Yes. 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 And we're taking you people as priority and all of that because you might just be. I mean, there were times, you know, when my 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 wife might be talking to me about something, and maybe I'm on the phone and I just see somebody just died right now. Somebody just or somebody is gasping for breath, you know, and all of that. I'll just tell my wife, you know what? Can can you just because somebody is gasping for breath? Let me say a word over this person right now. And all that conversation will not continue again. That's the end. We will not even remember that conversation again. And this is how much we are sacrifice. giving to the body of Christ. Kind word you will not say. Uh, uh, <laughs> chocolate you will not bring. Um, uh, uh, trying to be nice you will not be nice. And all of, the only thing you will remember is that I've called pastor seven times. He did, he did not pick my call. He did not pick my call. And all of that. And and I mean there are things that people you know people just a, a woman was telling talking to my PA you know um a few few months back and he said yes that he knows came to see me she, maybe she came from out of the country she said you know that when god lifts people up they start behaving like this you can no longer see them you can and my pa said ma can i tell you what his shadow he says i don't want to know i don't want to know yeah. his shadow and all of that man of god of course you know for for to be here of to course. do this i'm doing today it's a heavy sacrifice and the truth is that my peer and i were talking about it and we realized from july to the rest of the year there has to be somewhere i will be in and i have to do the prayers in the morning and sometimes you'll be finishing you will try and find a flight that has to get to london so that you can do a meeting and return back and be able to do or be on the prayer you have to get to south africa you have to get to kenya we're just looking at all my share. you have to get to cameroon in fact all of these things we're looking at and just looking at, i just became depressed and i said to myself <laughs> they will not understand if you tell this one if they they for any reason you say, hey, i don't mind they've become big you don't people are your reward for what you do you know the prayers you know that that he's doing it's like people are his reward he said he said we have families but we have taken you as priority you know why Teach these people to be independent in God, not to depend on your prayer. Teach them to be independent. Teach them how to commune directly with God so they don't have to depend on your prayer. When you teach them like that, they can pray for themselves. They don't have to depend on your prayer. But no, these pastors want it to be like that. And, and it's not just Pastor Jerry. At least he was honest enough to come out and, and uh, say the truth of how he feels about the whole ministry thing that he's doing you know it's is is so many of them out there so many so many if not if not 99.9 percent .9 of them out there 
you know, in the Pentecostal and, you know, the African church, even, even, in, even in the Western world, some, you know, it's just that in the Western world, there's more uh, government control over them. So there's a limit to what they can do. But in Africa, there's no law. There's law, but it's not observed. So anybody can do anything. He was talking about how he traveled up and down, his busy schedule, you know, he would leave from uh, Cameroon to, to Canada and come back again to uh, uh, wherever. You know, I'm like, ah, ah, see me see trouble, who sent you work? <laughs> Did the member send you work? Ah. Is it by force to travel up and down to share the gospel? The people that are there with you in Nigeria, have you, have you, have you saved them? Finish. That you have to be going everywhere to the uttermost, uttermost part of the earth, right? Yeah, uttermost part of the earth. They, they all want to go to the uttermost part of the earth to share that gospel. Everywhere else apart from where they are. All that traveling up and down makes him depressed. That he's depressed. Did you hear him? He said he's depressed. Sometimes it makes him depressed. Yes. Why won't you be depressed? Because you've made yourself... Uh, a mini God to the people. You've made it about yourself, not about Jesus anymore. You've made your ministry about yourself, your, your, you know, your works. Your works is not by grace, it's by your works. That's why you're depressed. That's why you're depressed because Christ uh, said that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. So if you're doing anything you know, for God, if you're doing anything in the Lord, in the name of the Lord, and you feel burdened, you feel depressed, you feel tired, something is wrong there. Something is wrong. Because if, if, if we are doing it right, it's not, we shouldn't feel that way. Because remember, his yoke is easy and his burden is light, is light. But, but the pastor still goes back again such is the mind of god wait on god god what are you telling me about these people what should i say today this is why you have some pastors they come on the program say i prepared this but the lord <laughs> said i should do this even the interruption self is not good from god and you are going through let me tell you good land if one month passes and you don't used to buy something and give your pastor your problem one of the problems of nigeria and the truth is that it is true i know what i'm saying to you if one month will pass your pastor's wife you didn't see anything and all of and you just say sir it doesn't have to be the entire world it doesn't have to be twenty thousand dollars but whatever it is i i know what i'm saying it's paining me that is why i am saying it the way i am saying it it has a way of letting us know we see you sir we yeah, see what you are doing yeah. your life is important to us and you see you see these people let me tell you <laughs> They are great let me, let, let me I guess they are great. No, you know what I'm saying, these people. Uh, but let me say what I still want to say. What I want to say is that uh, I want you to realize that. You see, don't don't fall for magicians. Don't then fall don't for ma the ma original one. Exactly. Like the fake one. Yeah. And carry Martins to you the don't fake. even understand these fake people. And uh, this one you're saying, I can pray for you. I can do this one. Right? Yeah, 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 when yeah, people yeah. are giving testimony, you know, when they come, sometimes they say, I have spent money. I've gone. We have spent millions. We I, we went somewhere and they say consultation fee is twenty million naira. Consultation fee yeah. is twenty million naira. And then, but when I came here, the Lord answered me. The Lord answered. And I'm looking at so the Lord even to put uh, <laughs> offering inside envelope and drop you did not but you spent 20 million where you are coming from to him brain is given a uh, sense is expected hey! <laughs> so some people who they don't understand how much you are missing out on the anointing yes you don't understand how much so you can be in a house 
and then you are not part of the blessings yes. for people outside who will be supporting it. who love the man yes. of god yes. who will be supporting the man of god and all that are the ones having their outbreak of that but you yourself you're in the house because you just believe. don't say until i have too much it doesn't even have to be too much encourage don't let any month come and pass without you doing prophet's offering and giving to your man and this is not transactional right yeah. this is not transactional well, you know as i'm giving this is what one person every time he, he, she comes to me say pastor i'm i'm saying a seed for my children i'm saying a seed for my this, i'm saying a seed for my i'm saying it one day i say so all this thing you are bringing here is for i say which one will you say that is because i like you pastor <laughs> It's just because I like what it you're looks doing. It like it's yeah, Exactly. To of because the truth of the matter is that tomorrow, if the anointing is no longer there, they pack their bags and go. They don't yes. like. You are relevant because of the anointing. And that's why we will keep praying and say, God, keep us relevant. Because we know the way some, some of them behave. If they don't see the uh, anointing yes, again, they will, that's why we, are, we will pray. We keep praying. Keep the seeking anointing God. will remain. So that the anointing will, will remain. Multiply. It will multiply. It will we will increase. remain relevant. Will remain and they will not go anywhere. They will, not go they will anywhere. stay in they good luck. You will not go anywhere. <laughs> what did you hear that if one month pass without you sending something to your pastor you are one of the problems that we have in nigeria you are one of the problems we have in nigeria that's what pastor jerry said to his congregants to his to the people that he's supposed to be preaching to Wow. So the whole, at the end of the day, the whole, the whole bottom part of what he's doing is the money. <laughs> it's the money. You know, people don't like to hear this, but it's the truth. You, you heard it from his own mouth. It's the, you know, people don't like to hear, hear it when, when you say, you know, this, some of these pastors, they are just after money, 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 money. They don't want to hear it. But you just heard it. You are one, he said, you are one of the problems of Nigeria. If one month pass and you don't bring something to your pastor, you don't give anything to your pastor, you are one of Nigeria's problems. So out of all the serious problems that Nigeria has, I didn't know not giving uh, money monthly to your pastor is, is, is a very serious, is one of them. So I didn't know, you know, the, the, the insecurity, the 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 injustice you know the justice that is not there you know the poverty name it all of those problems that we have in Nigeria I didn't know not giving to your pastor not giving to your pastor is one of them well Jerry told us today that is one of them so if you are out there you don't give to your pastor one month pass and you are not giving nothing to your pastor, you are one of the problems of Nigeria, says Pastor Jerry. He said he's paining him. He's paining him. <laughs> he said he's paining him. So the bottom line is what do they do? You know? What they are doing, all these prayers, and all these prayers, all the ja, 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 ja. At the end of the day, is he they, he expects you as a reward to them. He expects you to give to him. And this makes me, you know, think about like if if you really say God called you into this ministry, then where is your faith, Pastor? Where is your faith, Pastors? Where is your faith? in the god that called you don't you trust him enough to uh to take care of you don't you trust him enough to take care of you you said what god cannot do uh does not exist so him taking care of you for doing his work you don't you don't you don't trust you don't trust him enough to take care of you so god cannot do that one I don't even know how to put it into his, his own slogan, you know? Somebody help me here. What do you think? What do you think of all these things he has been saying? And then he even had, he even had the ghost to call some other pastors fake. 
you know that uh, that when you, you know some people when before they came they would tell you that oh I, I gave 20 million consult consultation fee in the in wherever church I went to for prayers and and but nothing happened but when I came here you know God answered my prayer and they can't even put small cash in an envelope as offering Wow Wow so all this give 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 didn't the bible say didn't jesus say freely you have received freely give freely you also give i mean look at how he's look at how he's just soliciting for people to give to him just just look at it it's, it's so it's it's very it's very pe petty you know it's is diminishing is 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 sad it's sad and these are supposed to be pastors these are supposed to be preachers of the world these are supposed to be people that you know that all that some people look up to believe everything that comes out of their mouth well here yeah, you've seen it today this is why you know in one of my video titled pastor pastors go and walk this is why every pastor should walk all this full-time ministry thing and forget it forget it go and walk go and walk pastors go and walk first Thessalonians 2 verse 9 it says for you remember brethren our labor and toil for laboring night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you we, when we preach to you the gospel of God. That was Paul. And he even went further, you know, and said to walk, walk with your own hands so that you will not lack. So if you had your own, if you had a job that you're doing, you know, you, you, you will not be begging like this in public. You will concentrate on, on what the Lord is using you to do. You will not be seeing people, seeing congregations as reward or seeing congregations as, a, as your ATM to take care of. You say he was even talking about, you know, we have families too, you know, we, we, to take care of our families. So take care of your family. Didn't the Bible say, you know, if a man that cannot take care of his family is, uh, is, is, is worse than an infidel, is worse than an unbeliever? Take care of your family. It's your responsibility. It's not the responsibility of your congregants. No. They, they can give out of love. They can give out of kindness. They can give because they appreciate you or whatever, but it's not for you to be telling them, using scripture set to back it up. Here is a clip of uh, uh, the, my video I did a while ago. It says, pastors, go and walk. Invest in yourself. Invest in a business. Invest for your children. Stop taking the responsibility of another man like you. All in the name of, I am the man of God. I am the pastor. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in full-time ministry so I can pray for you guys. Pray for who? The members should be, everybody should be praying for themselves. Pastor, you pray, pray for your members, yes, but you don't need 24 hours to do that. You don't. You don't need 24 hours to pray for your members. Go and walk. Stop being a burden on these members of your church. Stop being a burden to them. Go and walk. There's dignity in labor. So now he's talking about the anointing. You know, <laughs> he said this story about, you know, if you are in the church, you are inside the church and uh, you, you, you don't give, you don't contribute, you don't support your pastor. And maybe someone that is outside in the church, maybe the overflow, you know, outside or whatever. And those ones support their pastors by giving. When the anointing is flowing through him, those ones, people, those that support their pastors, we receive the anointing you that don't support nothing for you <laughs> say if you are in the church but you are not supporting your pastor you are missing out on the anointing
Can you imagine? Which anointing? Which anointing? Which? <laughs> they now said, ah, this is why we pray to God oh, to keep this anointing burning. Because you see these people, he even used the word these people. These people. Say, because you see these people, once the anointing, once the anointing is not no longer on you, you, you become irrelevant to them. So this is why we pray that the anointing remains. You see, see his, see his motive behind the so-called anointing that he, he, he believes he has. <laughs> well, I would say to an extent, he, he, maybe he has some, the anointing of deceiving people because a lot of people follow him online. So, that, um, th this is why we keep praying for that anointing that the Lord will continue to uh, give us this, you know, keep the anointing on, on, on them, pastors, so that you will remain, so that they, you will not go anywhere. Those were his words, so that they will not go, deep. that's the congregants, they will not go anywhere. So you are a prisoner in disguise to these pastors. And it's not just Pastor Jerry, like I said, so many of them out there, false, uh, 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 false preachers, false teachers of the of of another doctrine, the doctrine of uh, prosperity, do the doctrine of mammon. There are so many of them out there. So, my lovely viewers. What do you think about this video? Please leave your comments. Leave your comments. Tell me. I know, you know, it may come as a shock to some of you out there. Some of you may not be surprised because you're already like, mm, this guy, what is he doing? You know, but so many, it may come as a shock. And so many will not, you know, so, so many out there will be like, you know, that's not what he meant. You know, they always want to cover up for their man of God, that's not what he meant. You know, you're, 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 you're taking it out of context. <laughs> this was plain and clear. His explanation was straightforward. There's nothing out of context there. It was straightforward. He spoke his mind and I appreciate him for speaking his mind. It was, though it's not the right thing, we think, but that was he spoke his mind. I wish others would speak their mind so you know the type of pastors that you are under. A lot of them pretend, pretend to be seeing God, they pretend to be to be so holy. But inside their house, they think the same way as Pastor Jerry. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever a man soweth, he will reap. All these pastors, whatever you are sowing, God cannot be mocked. You will reap it. You will reap it. Repent. And then follow us. Children of God, be careful. Be careful. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Keep your heart. Guide your heart. That's what the Bible says. Study your Bible. Pray to God for yourself. There's nothing these pastors are praying for you that is so special that you cannot do directly to God. Forget all that one, you know, he was earlier he was talking about, you know, how he, he prayed from night till morning every day for years before he got to this level, before he got to this capacity. <laughs> I don't even know how true that is. Every single day for years, you know, he'll pray from maybe from midnight till morning and then he'll sleep in the morning till 10, 11. That just shows that he doesn't have a job. He doesn't have a business. He doesn't have work of his hands that he does. All that time where he was praying, if he did do, all that time that I was praying, all, praying for every day for all that hours, he could have prayed just one hour connecting you know spirit by spirit with god one hour you will get a lot 30 minutes 20 minutes it, the, the time does not matter the time increases as your relation as your relationship with god increases 
It doesn't matter. God speaks to anybody. You don't even, people that don't even pray, God speaks to them. God uses them. God uses them. So what are we saying? I'm not saying don't pray, but it shouldn't be uh, like, like a, I don't know how to describe it. It shouldn't be you thinking that that's the only way out. If I, I do it like this, if I, when I do it like this, that's the way I'm going to see God. No, no. It's a personal relationship between you and God. It's a communication thing, spirit by spirit. So, uh, my viewers, please beware of these false preachers out there. There are so many, so many out there in different ways, different uh, 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 forms that they come in, different styles. Just be careful. Be careful. Pray to God by, your, by yourself, for yourself. Trust in your prayers. Trust in God. When you, after you pray, trust him. And go about your business. Go about your daily business and watch God brings things to pass for you. Without the help of any third man, any mediator called pastors, you know, manipulating pastors. Thank you all for listening. Please leave your uh, comments below. Let me know what you think about this, uh, what uh, Pastor Jerry said. And, you know, just generally the other pastors out there that are doing the same thing. Let me know what you think, you know. Um, please like subscribe and share 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 this video out there so someone can get it so until next video stay blessed remain in his love god bless you bye